Hi, if you're new here, my name is Karen and I live alone in a little studio small apartment in the Bay Area. I also work two jobs every day, no days off. And I like to make videos showing my life, what's it like living in California, struggling to make ends meet. I'm also a foodie and I love to go out to eat and I like to show you um, recipes I make. I'm actually a pretty good cook and I actually love cooking a lot and I think it's really fun. I love to try new recipes. All right guys, Monday night, I decided to make some meatloaf tonight. So let's get started. Alright guys, have some ketchup, love ketchup on my meatloaf. That's how I like my, my meatloaf. Some people like mashed potatoes. I just love baked potatoes. I think it's like 8.30. God, it's, even though I only took like a half an hour nap, I still can't get dinner early on time with all the filming I did. And then my sister called me and wow. Try this meatloaf. Mm, Very moist. Mm. Guys, right, Tuesday for lunch. I'm craving one of those Vietnamese sandwiches. Uh, I forget what you call those sandwiches, but um, yeah. Guys, it is Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna pick up my nephew. We're gonna go to Fred Rucker's and we're gonna film a burger video. All right, guys, we're gonna Fred Rucker's right now. We're gonna see how loud yeah. the restaurant is. If it's too loud or if it's too, if it's too busy or awkward, we will film at the house. If not, we'll film at the restaurant. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what do you think? Let's see, uh, see, how, see how loud it is. I guess the house. You wanna do the house? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I actually changed my mind. I was going to up front of the restaurant. It might be kind of loud. Yeah. I think last time I filmed it was kind of loudish. Okay, yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we can do it at the house. At the house? Okay. Yeah. Go Five Below. All right, guys, we're going to go to Five Below first because I wanted to check Five Below out. Have and you've been there, right, Matt, Raymond? You've been to Five Below? Yeah. It's cool? Yeah. It's cool. Cheap? Not too expensive? Yeah. I want to check it out.
we ended the store. We walked out. How was it? Uh, I've never been here before. I didn't. I was expecting something from my ASMR channel. It's hard to explain, but I couldn't find it. Okay. it was, the store was very small. I mean, I thought it was smaller than I, I thought. It was like a really big store. You uh, have high books? No. No. <laughs> no, I want. No. Let's go to Fabrickers. Want you? Ah, uh, sure. Are you hungry? Yes, I am definitely hungry. Yay. Raven wants to go to Half Pipes Brooks. What do you want to get there? Nothing. I just want to check so it just out. Want to look it I, out. I haven't been there for years. All right, we'll take a look. Okay. Alright guys, Zanzi we didn't find thing. any Fun games. Yeah. Now we're going to Fabrickers, right? Yeah. Let's go guys! You guys, we found the perfect place to sit outside. Say hi Raymond. Hi. <laughs> There's nobody here, no music. Yeah. All right, guys, we got the burger. You just want ketchup on it? Um, yeah. <laughs> and we got, I got a lettuce wrap, and I also got, got some fries. All right, guys, it is Saturday morning, almost 10 a.m. Um, I finished one of my vid mukbang videos, editing it out, so that's good. Getting some stuff done today, this morning. Um, I have a rookie client later today. Don't see a lot of rookie clients like I used to. I'm actually seriously considering. I think I will not do Reiki. I think this will be last year doing Reiki. It's just not, financially it's not paying out for me. But I want to see what I got at Walmart yesterday. I want to, I want to do like, um, let me show you what I got. Um, I love, you know, Dr. Till's like bath sauce. I usually get the lavender or the orange one. But this one is only, it's a limited edition. It's seasonal. It's called um, Warm autumn comfort and essential oils um, it's only like around this holiday time it's limited limited and i had it um supposed to really be good with your back pain or whatever and i had it um the other day and i really it has like a warm feeling it's really i don't know what it is i don't know what actually is in here <laughs> But it has this really warm feeling. I like the smell. And so. They also have the um, foaming bath. This, the, same, the same one. Warm autumn comfort. So I'm taking a bath today. Before my Reiki client. And. Um, I'm going to be filming a TikTok video later today. I calculated I have like seven or eight mukbangs to edit on both my phones. I have a weekly vlog to edit. I have three walking videos to edit. And I just, from every time I go on vacation, I come back, I just get backlogged on videos. And I work so many jobs and so many hours a week. I don't have a lot of time to edit because I work so much. But I think I'm going to be taking a, a, a few weeks break from a mukbang so I can catch up on my editing and... <laughs> But um, I will be going, I think I'm going to be doing some little short uh, mukbangs on my TikTok. If you guys want to follow my TikTok, is Eat With Karen. Just a couple, maybe two, three, four minutes. Like a little short mukbang. Just so I can catch up on my editing. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to take a bath. So I haven't really showed you guys my bath setup. But um, above, like, this is on top of the toilet. I listened to some relaxing music. This is actually kind of meditation by Bob Proctor. On the toilet here, I put like um, some, I burned some sage just to clear my energy. I think it's, I think it's really good to clear your energy and take a bath. I think it's, I always feel good after this as well. I also like to burn some incense. This is like kind of like right next to my bathroom in the hallway area. Alright guys, 
Today is Sunday and I finished editing a vlog or a mukbang video. So I got something done today. <laughs> also, my laundry is in the dryer. I got to get the laundry out. Um, I'm going to get some gas, get some lottery tickets. <laughs> I'm also going to go to Trader Joe's. I was actually going to make these um, cookies. Oh, let me show you. I was going to make these cookies. Um, I realized on the back it says I need a salt and salt and butter. I don't know how important it is to, to use in salt and butter. Is it really that important? But and it's, it's supposed to be soft. And I think I'm what I'm going to do is I don't have any salt and butter, and I'm just going to. I think I might do that. Well, next week is really busy. Maybe one or two more weeks. Maybe I'll make it in one or two more weeks. I don't know. I just want to do it right. And so I think I I am craving something sweet. And I want to show you, um, do like a little review. I think I might go to Trader Joe's today. I need, I do need a few items, like a couple of salads and stuff. And I think I'm going to get, try the apple cider, apple cider donuts. I had last week or this week, I put a, a almost a hundred dollar, um, Trader Joe's haul, really expensive. And even though it was kind of pricey for one person, I think it was kind of pricey. Um, I didn't get everything. There's a lot of sweets I didn't get, like the maple popcorn I didn't get. And there's a couple other items. I just, new items I didn't get. But um, the apple cider donuts um, is something I'm not really sure if I had them before. I think I've had. I can't remember if they how they taste. But I might get that later today and review them for you. And yeah, that's, what I, that's what's going on today. All right, guys, I'm at Pete's. I'm actually outside. It's just really nice. There's a lot of benches here <laughs> and no music. So I'm going to show you my drink. It's an iced maple spiced. Basically, it's just maple and spice. Let me show you. That's what it looks like. I thought it was a cold brew. I'm not sure, but um, a little bit different than Starbucks. This was $6.70. Let's do, do a taste test. It's pretty good. Good taste to maple. And the cinnamon. Coffee's really good and strong in here. Yeah, I think it's really good. I'm not sure it's my favorite drink, but it's pretty tasty. <laughs> Probably rate this 7 out of 10. Alright guys, I came back from Trader Joe's. It was so busy. I didn't really film that much. It was crazy. But I went around Sunday around 3 p.m. Maybe that's why. But I get these. I got these apple cider donuts. Oh, this smells so good. Like apple cider. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So let's give these a try. pretty good. It's like a nice apple cider taste to it. Yeah. I like a lot of the sh sugar topping. Kind of gets stuck to my fingers. I don't personally like these um, donuts as, as much. But this is actually not bad. It's a little bit different than your regular traditional donut, you know? Hmm. A little after five, I probably should go and get going to go to Walmart soon. But just wanted to update you my week and how it was. Um, I've been watching a lot of TikTok videos this week and I saw this one video, this guy on TikTok. People were talking about him. I guess he was from Georgia and he went to LA well, California, but LA, particularly LA, California. And he told everybody to get out of California, evacuate California. He said, it's gonna get really bad. There's gonna be like a really big earthquake and it's just gonna be really, really bad. Like they, and he was just warning people to just evacuate California. And it was just making me nervous. Like I live in California, but I don't live in the LA area. I guess he had this dream about it. And 
So I started watching more videos about him and people reviewing him and are saying about it. And people really thought that, you know, he's right. California is sinking. <laughs> and um, a lot of people have had prophetic dreams just like him, you know. And so somebody on TikTok said he was 75% accurate, which is pretty close to 100%. But um, I noticed in his videos he swears, so I thought that was interesting. I don't know. Um, then I started watching earthquake videos and, you know, when will there be next earthquake in California? People will say that looks like it's going to hit in L.A. That's what they're saying. I don't know. Some, some people say it's going to hit in San Francisco. So I just started just to feel a lot of anxiety and worrisome and I just didn't have the best week. And my mind was all over the place. So I'm just going to not watch TikTok as much. I need to get lay off the TikTok. It's, it's just crazy. <laughs> but anyways, that's an update of my week. Hope you guys had a great week. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.